Hi everyone, I'm Alistair Williams, and we're playing Random or Relevant with the incomparable Kyle Dean Massey. Kyle Dean is a Broadway performer best known for his roles in Alter Boys, Next to Normal, and a small little show called Wicked. Kyle Dean is in the Google Hangout right now. How are you, Kyle Dean? I'm great. Yay, Kyle Dean, we have to bring you to Mason Gross as soon as possible. Okay. <laughs> so let's get right into the game. Here's how we play. I'm going to give you two question categories, random questions or relevant questions. Random questions will range in topics from food to pop culture. Relevant questions will pertain to your career or the industry in general. So let's play. Um, you choose random or relevant. Let's start with relevant. I like it. What successes have been your defining moments in your career and what did you learn? Oh gosh, well I think they've all be been defining moments. People are always like, what was like your big break? I'm like, you know, I don't know. The, the, the next job is always like the big break. I think um, I can look back at certain points in my career and put a, put a lot of weight in each, very, in each, each separate job. Um, my first paying job, uh, my first equity job, my first national tour, my first Broadway show, uh, when I got an agent, my first time to star on Broadway. You know, those were all major moments that um, – that, that I thought were defining moments at that time. Um, but I guess you're always finding new defining moments. Um, so I guess that's be the best I can answer that one. So what did you learn from them? Well, I think what I learned was that, uh, <laughs> that this business is relentless. You know, that there's not like one moment where you've made it. You know what I mean? There's not one moment where it's like suddenly smooth sailing. Um, it's, it's always changing. It's always evolving. Your goals are always changing. You're always trying to do better um, and more work. And so I think that's what I learned. I think I thought that I would reach a point in my career where I would be happy and I would feel this like a, a certain kind of like stasis, I guess, where you're like, well, it's all smooth sailing and that is not true. <laughs> you know, um, even when you're starring on Broadway, there's, there's, there's more, you know, there's, there's, it, there are new shows. There are different opportunities that you want that you want to take on. So that's, I guess, what I learned. Right. And I know this question is in the pile, but do you feel like you're still desiring to be discovered, or have you been discovered but the work is still, uh, you know, required? Um, I don't know. You know, I think in, in certain groups, yeah. You know, like on on Broadway in the New York theater scene, I've definitely like been discovered. You know what I mean? Like, people know me here. Um, like, in L.A., like, I'm still uh, kind of a new kid in town over there. Like, you know, TV land, I'm still kind of an unknown person that does, like, little bit parts on TV shows here and there. So I guess it depends on what kind of genre you're talking about. Random or relevant, sir? Okay. Random. When you – I love this question. When you dance socially, what do you do with your arms? I do with my arms? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I kind of like an arms in the air kind of situation for some reason. <laughs> I think about this whole bounce thing. That's what uh, I try to do. No, I'm kind of like a, you know, I like to do a little of this thing. <laughs> I love it. Random or relevant, sir? Okay, relevant. Oh, this is a good. This is good for you. Um, where did you go to college, and how was your college experience? I went to school um, at Missouri State University, as it's called now. Um, and I, it was great. I, I feel like I learned everything that I know there, pretty much. Um, I, I grew up in a small town in Arkansas, and although I had really terrific teachers, I had a great choir teacher, and I had a very inspiring like drama teacher, and I had a great piano teacher and great dance teachers, but I did not have the elements to bring those things together. I did not have the training to do that. And so I learned all of that in college. So it was a great experience, and it was a... Um, it was not a conservatory program, so, you know, I got to learn about all kinds of other things, too, which I loved doing, and I feel like, you know, the whole experience enriched my life. You know, it just, when I look back on it, it seems like just a little blip, but um, it was great. I felt like I grew up a lot there. I learned a lot there, and I was really, really happy that I went to school there. So was it hard for you to make a transition into New York, living in Missouri for four years? No. <laughs> It wasn't, you know, like, by the time I got to the end of college, I was ready to go. 
you know, I, I feel like I had I had the tools. I was ready to leave. So, you know, I guess if there was a transition that was difficult, it was just getting used to living in New York City, which is a city unlike any other city in America. You know, you, you have to kind of, you have to get used to living here to a certain extent. Right. And how about building your network in New York? Was it hard to do in Missouri, or were you not worried about that? Well, I left school, and I came to New York for one semester during um, my junior year. So I kind of, you know, tested out the waters a bit. Um, so when I went back to school to finish up, I kind of knew, casting people knew me here, and they would call me directly, and I would fly back and forth from college um, to New York for auditions and things like that. So it wasn't that bad. And also in the Midwest, there are huge cattle call auditions for theater companies all over the country, including New York. And I got my first national tour from a cattle call audition in Memphis, Tennessee. Cool. So, and you know, it was a New York company. We rehearsed in New York, went on tour. Like, so it was, it, it actually wasn't a problem. All right, can I cheat? I'm gonna look through the relevant questions and figure out a good one for you. Okay. Um, what skill has aided you the most throughout your performing arts career? Um, you know, I think it's, uh, I think it's probably my um, my skill at handling rejection. Honestly, I think I do that very well. I think I'm really good at um, when not when I don't get something, moving on, and um, I think that's been good because. Um, I think it affects a lot of people, and it discourages a lot of people. And I've I've never been discouraged by that. I've always, I've always just been like, well, we'll get the next one, or the one after that, or the one after that. And I think it's helped me a lot. And um, I, I think it's given me some longevity, um, at least. I think I've kind of moved past that hump. I think around my age, or when a lot of people start kind of leaving the business, and. Uh, I'm not, not, certainly not doing that. So. Okay, last question. What advice would you give to young budding artists looking to enter the competitive world of musical theater? Um, well, I usually always give pretty much the same advice, mm -hmm. which is uh, get the best training you possibly can, and then get more of it. <laughs> uh, go to the gym and oh, read. Please. Wait a minute. Go to the gym. I don't think that's ever been said before. That's a oh, big really? Deal. Get a gym membership. Get a gym <laughs> membership and go every day. <laughs> that's big. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, let's be real. It's like it, this is a business that where you're selling yourself, and the way you look is very important. And uh, you would be surprised how many people work that are pretty much talent-free. <laughs> So why would you not want to just pick that up as something to have? You know what I mean? Like, why not try to look great? Right, right, right. Um, so yeah, go to the gym and read. Read plays, read books. Um, I just think that's important. So I think it's good to, like, just have an understanding and knowledge of other things. Because, let's be real, like, you're not going to be playing an actor in every sh You know, you're going to be playing, like, real people. Right. So I think it's, you know, by reading, you get to understand different characters, different people. You get to go into other people's worlds and imaginations, and I think that's inspiring and helpful, and it's just, you know, I think you want to be a well-rounded artist, and I think that's one way to do it.